Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Brown. Today for our reading lesson, we are going to look at two objectives. Let's look at our first objective. I can identify the main idea in details. Our second one says, I can explain how the photographs or pictures support the main idea. Let's take a look at our anchor chart that we've looked at the past couple of days. Let's review topic. A topic is one or two words about the entire text, the whole text, just one or two words. The main idea is a statement that tells the most important thoughts about the topic. And our supporting details are facts, examples, or details that support and help to describe the main idea. But how do we find the main idea? Well, let's look at our stars over here. These tell us how to find the main idea. So we look at the title and the headings, we look at the pictures, we look for words that are used more than once, and we reread the first and last sentence. Now, our book that we're going to be reading today is called Dogs at Work. Dogs at Work. Before we get started reading, we have some vocabulary words that we need to learn. So our first word is chemicals. Chemicals are things that you can mix together. They're most likely liquids that you mix together to make other things, to make new things. And they're usually in a liquid form. Mr. Maxwell might have talked about these before. Our second word is comfort. Comfort. You might have had a friend who comforted you when you were feeling sad. You see this girl, she's sad and her friend is comforting her. Medicine is something you take to feel better when you are sick. Criminals are bad guys. These are guys or girls who do really bad things. Those are criminals, things that are against the law. Detection. Detection means to find something. So this guy is looking through a magnifying glass to find something. He's trying to detect, to find something. And then our last word is disabilities. A disability might mean that something might look wrong with someone, but isn't necessarily wrong. It might mean that they're in a wheelchair or can't see or can't hear, but that doesn't mean they can't do the same things that we do. Okay, now let's get to reading. All right, here's our book, Dogs at Work. First, let's take a picture walk. Do you think this book is going to be fiction or nonfiction? Fiction means made up. Nonfiction means based on true things. Just looking at the pictures. Fiction or nonfiction? Very good. Nonfiction. It is true. All right, let's get started reading. <clears throat> Here we have a table of contents that tells us where we can find certain information. Introduction. You probably know that some dogs aren't just pets. They hold jobs. Dogs learn fast. They also hear and smell better than we do. This means dogs can do jobs that people can't. Many dogs work with people to help them feel better. These dogs are called therapy dogs. Therapy dogs are trained to comfort people and keep them calm. Other dogs help people with disabilities. These dogs are called service dogs. Some of these dogs help people who can't see or hear well. Other dogs pick up dropped items and pull wheelchairs. And this is about Tennille the guide dog. A service dog named Tennille helped her owner hike. Tennille was the first service dog trained to do this. Her owner, Trevor Thomas, is blind. Tennille helped Thomas step over large rocks. Thomas hopes that he and Tennille can encourage other blind people to hike too. Some service dogs can smell when their owner is about to be sick. They warn their owner to take medicine. Some people get sick because they don't have enough sugar in their blood. This dog carries sweet drinks for its owner in case she needs them. Sinatra the service dog puts his paw on his owner's arm. This is Sinatra's way of telling his owner to take medicine. Search and rescue dogs. Some dogs look for people who are lost. They are called search and rescue dogs. Many search and rescue dogs use their nose to find people who need help. Some of these dogs sniff the ground to find people. So a search and rescue dog helps people to find a lost boy. Other dogs sniff the air. These dogs can find lost hikers. They can also find people trapped in buildings that have fallen down. 
The caption says, a firefighter uses a rescue dog to search for people under rocks in China. Some search and rescue dogs work in the water. Water rescue dogs can pull people to safety. They need to be strong swimmers. For this reason, big strong dogs like the Newfoundland make good water rescue dogs. A 68 kilogram, 150 pound Newfoundland can pull 10 people to safety at once. Odd jobs. Dogs are good learners and they can do very odd jobs. For example, one dog worked at an airport in Michigan. He chased wild birds out of the path of planes. Another group of dogs had an odd job at a baseball park near the ocean in California. These dogs jumped into the ocean to get balls that were hidden to the water. The program is now over, but for a time, baseball fans love to collect these splash hit balls. This is Piper the airport worker. Detection dogs. Some dogs use their nose to find things that are hidden. They are called detection dogs. People use detection dogs, oh sorry, police use detection dogs to find criminals. Police also use these dogs after a building burns down. It may be hard to find out whether someone set the fire on purpose. The dogs sniff for chemicals that might have been used to start the fire. A detection dog searches a burned building for chemicals. Detection dogs don't just work in the world of crime. Some of these dogs search for termites in houses and other buildings. Termites ruin buildings by eating wood. They are hard for humans to find, but dogs can sniff them out. <clears throat> Conclusion From finding termites to pulling wheelchairs, dogs help us in many ways. Dogs are strong, smart, and friendly, and they have powerful senses. They are some of the best workers around. So there's a police dog, a search and rescue dog, and a service dog. Now let's talk about the topic and the main idea and some supporting details.